of eating airport food, listening to overhead announcements, and wondering if he'd ever get out of Moscow's airport. NSA leaker Ed Snowden was allowed to enter Russian territory on temporary refugee status. The country has granted him asylum for just one year. Snowden reportedly slipped out of the airport by taxi. And needless to say, the White House is not pleased. Here's Jay Carney. We are extremely disappointed that the Russian government would take this step despite our very clear and lawful requests in public and in private to have Mr. Snowden, Snowden expelled to the United States to face the charges against him. This move by the Russian government undermines a long-standing record of law enforcement cooperation. Bob and diplomatic speak extremely disappointed and undermined. That's, that, those are actually strong words. Yeah, that, you, you can be <laughs> sure that was run by the State Department before this, that spokesman got a chance to say it. I think what the Russians are doing here is basically uh, <clears throat> using Snowden for other things. And though they're, they're in the middle right now of some very complicated strategic arms limitation agreements, and I think he's been mixed up in this. Eh. Wow. Um, Eric, you had an interesting phone call right before we came in the, uh, onto the set here. Can you reveal? Sure, sure. So uh, we're in the green room talking to Dana and some friends of Allison's. Um, and the phone rings. It's Lon Snowden. That's Ed Snowden's father. I said, hey, you know, can you want to weigh in on what some of the things that, that were going on? Specifically, is this a, a, a Russian, you know, thumbing, it's Putin thumbing his nose at President Obama? He said, well, it may be. So he said, first of all, he wanted to thank Putin. But he said, but whatever happens oh. to Obama is because <laughs> it was a self-inflicted injury. He said, it's... It's the, uh, it happened because of the way the Department of Justice and the Obama administration has handled themselves throughout, and he's very, very upset with them. He, he wants, um, you know, nothing more than... Did he have a suggestion what they should have done? He, he, but from the very beginning, he said his son should come home and face justice, not to face justice as a traitor, face justice as, as breaking the law, and he agrees. He said, again... He's just a dad who loves his son and just an American who loves his country. But to Listen, I got to agree with him. Yikes. But, but what, was he, what, what, what was he suggesting to be done that Obama or, or anybody else could have done to have a different outcome? Well, he wanted him to come home and just be able to go well, to yeah, trial. Sure. And they had, remember all the conditions that he had? But also admit that some of the things that the NSA were doing were, were an overreach. Which yeah, I and that's not Okay, but listen, then why did he run to begin with, okay? If you're so noble and you're doing the right thing and you want to expose the U.S. government, then why don't you go about it in the right what, what, which way? Would be what? Which uh, would be go, what? go to the supervisors. Go to the person what? above that supervisor. James Make your Clapper, the or supervisor, you supervisor, supervisor, supervisor to the cabinet level lied in front of Congress. I mean, if, if, if that doesn't tell you something. Hey, can we just one fast thing here. The, the NSA's budget came within seven votes of getting beaten in the House floor there is going to be legislation to curtail what the NSA is doing, and it's about... Meanwhile, in other news, al-Qaeda is on the rise. Great. Uh, you haven't spoken. Thanks for that. Well, um, I just, uh, I would like to see this great hero, uh, Ed Snowden, really, really speak truth to power. Stand up to an actual villain like Putin and say, why are you beating the hell out of gays? Why don't you yeah. do that? You had, they, they, they were setting an anti-homosexual agenda at the Olympics. Where's Glenn Greenwald, who lives in Buenos Aires with his boyfriend? Why are, they, why are they speaking up about this? Here you have this guy who's condemning America, the freest country in the history of the world, taking refuge in a place that abuses... Our enemy. Uh, uh, well, I wouldn't call him an enemy, but uh, who abuse gays uh, who, uh, who are who are using children as pawns in adoption, this is an awful guy. I have this is, he is now, but he's now a pawn of Putin. He what can't is, speak truth to power. He's a pop. He, he, because he's hey, just quick, what, is, what are they doing? On, I, I, I must have missed this all together. Oh, wait, I think we could actually do an entire segment on that, and maybe we should because the, on the Olympics, um, they could, it, there, it's a longer conversation. Okay. I had a suggestion, though, because, you know, Ed Snowden has been in the Russian uh, Moscow airport for so long, and he had some time to plan out if he was going to spend some time in Russia. So I came up with a little bit of an itinerary. So while he's there, if he wants to travel around, some of the things that he might want to check, some highlights. Um, first one would be to go and see the site of where Nizhny Novgorod, uh, he was reported on military affairs. He was a journalist. He mysteriously plunged to his death from the fifth floor of his apartment building in 2007, making him just one of the many journalists who died under questionable circumstances in Putin's Russia. Then you could head on over and see uh, Mikhail Kordakovsky. This is the uh, b uh, business guy, oil magnate. He's been held in a Siberian prison. That might be an interesting one. And then you should try to get a meeting with Alexei Navalny. He was the one last week who was sentenced to five years for embezzlement because he's a critic of Putin himself. He's now out on bond or on, uh, on an appeal. So 
I mean, maybe they can meet up and have like a coffee yeah. think, think or a vodka. Just, can I just point out? That's very I'm helpful. Sure, Russia wasn't his first choice of places that his first choice. No, his first choice. Why did he go? Yeah, but why did he go? How about the internet freedom in Hong Kong? Let's talk about that. I mean, only place you can go. My point is, there's no excuse for going to Russia. Okay, and Russia thumbs its nose at the U.S. And Russia holds all the cards. Wait, I have in-laws there. Everybody, it. Okay, well, really, no. I have to go for what the NSA did as well. Why go to Russia? You think that was the right place to go? Them and I would win uh, that debate. But this is going to be a hassle. Do right. you want to wave it around? You got a new one. Oh, I got a new one. Look, it's small. Yeah. Too. There. How little yeah. is you know, I know what you get that because it makes your hands look big. No. <laughs> I was actually going to give it to you, Gutfeld, because it was, uh, it was the right size. All right, come on. Oh. Change my mind. <laughs>